Okay, so I'm going to put this away in my blue folder. If you, ha I haven't done it yet, but if you've already done it, good for you. Fantastic for remembering to put that away. And we get to pull out um, our uh, Scholastic Phonics worksheets, and we are working with the letter H. And remember, H makes the <laughs> sound. And the last page we did was right here, okay, where we worked with the uppercase H. And now we are going to work with our lowercase h. Let me pull that closer so we can see that well. Okay, so it says, draw a hat on the hamster. Write a, a lowercase h on each hat. So I'm gonna do that first. And remember when you make your lowercase h, make it nice and tall. You don't want it to look like an n. Okay, you want it to look like the lowercase h, and the h is nice and tall, and it's proud of being tall. So go put, go ahead and put that. Now you can draw any type of hat you want on the hamster. Do you want to put like a snowman hat? Do you want to put a party hat on him? Do you want to put a Mickey Mouse hat or a unicorn hat? But go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and draw your hat for the hamster, and I'll put like he's going to a birthday party, okay? Okay, then trace the word below. So this is at hat. So we're gonna go ahead and trace that H, keep it nice and tall, trace our A, and trace our T to write the word hat. Then it says read the words on the hat. Circle each word that has a lowercase h. So I'll help you with that one. This first word is s has and we hear that h sound right in the beginning of the word so we get to circle that the next one ed head head yes this hamster has a head so we get to circle the second word as well because there's an h right there okay this one b -i -n, bin bin note that one is not so we have to cross that out and that's it so easy peasy lemon squeezy I hope you enjoyed working with the letter H and our and our hamsters and our hats today boys and girls.